Our last collection type is one called a uh, Vectec, and uh, Vectec is a, uh, I like it, it's a, it's kind of a cool type, you, um, the spelling is interesting too, it's like a, a French spelling Vectec, and this is, uh, this is for popping off uh, both the front and the back of the, of a Vec, and um, I'll, I'll show you uh, why Vectecs exist, and you can see that if you go to the, um, the documentation for VEX, you know, a regular VEC, and uh, it has this um, this uh, method called remove, and it takes off, uh, you know, something depending on the on the index you give it, and the important part is uh, so it returns the element, and then after it does that, shifting all elements after it to the left. So that means if you have this uh, this VEC here, and you take this out, then um, it has to like every vec has to has to start at this uh, this position. So two will have to move over here, and three will have to move over here. And uh, if you're always, um, you know, if you use pop, then you pop off the back, and there's no problem. Nothing's moving over. But if you are always uh, taking off the off the front, then that is a lot of memory allocation, and it can get. Um, you won't notice it in a in a small vec, but. Uh, if you have like a massive vec, then it can get really, really big. And uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you an example of that. So let's say let mute my vec, and we'll give it this massive, massive vec. And I came up with this number by, uh, you know, trying to see how how big these numbers could get before uh, before it starts to uh, to collapse and uh, fail on you. And so we are going to remove the first item from uh, or not uh, there you go, this is a method so uh, regular brackets so this has 600,000 zeros and 600,000 times we are going to remove a zero from the front so the first time it will remove it from the front and then it will move 5,999 or 599,999 items to the left and then it'll do that every time going down by one and uh it's uh it's not even going to work because it's so much uh it's so much work for the for the computer to do it and usually uh usually yeah it tries for uh you know about 10 seconds and then it says uh timeout signal kill timeout so it doesn't even uh it doesn't even do it uh so what you um want to do here is uh use a vec deck and uh the uh the declaration is pretty interesting. So a vec deck is, you can see it's in the same spot, standard collections. And it is a double-ended queue with a growable ring buffer. And <clears throat> instead of pop and remove, you use a pop front and push back. Um, and you, uh, let's see, the if you look at the source here, you can see how it is formed. So you have a, uh, you have a tail and you have a head and then you have a buffer and then it says um, let's see the uh, the length of the ring buffer is the distance between the two so the longer the longer your vec deck I guess the longer the buffer is going to be and uh, it uses this, this buffer on both sides to um, to make it fast to uh, to uh, you know pop off or take off from the front and so usually a vec deck will be slower than a vec, but if you're doing all this popping off of the front, then a vec deck is way better. So let's uh, let's be nice to the computer now, and uh, we'll give it a vec deck so that it won't have to work so hard. So we have vec deck, uh, bring it in here, and this time you can make a vec deck from a vec. So vec deck from, and you just put our vec inside here. And then instead of uh, remove zero, we will just uh, say pop front. And uh, we're not printing anything, so uh, all we're going to look at is the uh, the time it takes for it to work. And there you go, it's already done in 0 0.87 seconds, and there's no timeout. And that is what a, uh, a vec deck is for. Now, I, uh, 